Hello and welcome everybody to my new video. Today I will start a new series where I will present each time a new picture about a scientific topic. Today's topic will be the golden angle and plant architecture and you can see the picture already in the background. For a start we will have a closer look at the picture. So this is the picture I will speak about today. In the center of the picture you can see an unionium plant. This is a nice plant, which I observed first on Madeira, but it is growing certainly many other places. Um, on the left-hand side, you see the actual plant, and on the right-hand side, you see my model, um, which I produced using a program called Porphyry. On the upper part of this picture, you see um, some um, yeah, pictures of the golden angle. So this is this angle here of 170. 137.5 degrees and I showed it for several rounds so applying it first time second time third time and then you see also some um, yeah distributions you can obtain if you use this golden angle and further here I have shown several parts of the progress of modeling this or of building up this model here I will speak about this in more detail later um, and on the very bottom of the of my picture, I I'm showing so-called Fibonacci spirals, which are structures or yeah um, spirals you can observe when you look at distributions produced by the golden angle. I will speak about them as well in the following video. First, let's have a look at the ionium plant on Madeira. Um, it is growing there on the um, in the mountain ranges and very harsh regions and I was astonished to see so many plants growing there under these harsh conditions but they are doing very well there as you can see and yeah I like this arrangement of the leaf so much that I wanted to model it and for modeling you need the golden angle and the golden angle is just a way of dividing the full circle angle actually but it's not a simple way, just like dividing it into equal parts, but you have to divide it into unequal angles like alpha and beta here. And the equation determining this division is very simple. It's that the ratio between the larger angle beta and the smaller angle, angle alpha is the same as the ratio between the full circle angle, 360 degrees, and the larger angle. So if there are only two angles obeying this equation and this is the smaller angle at 137.5 degrees and the larger angle at 222.5 degrees. Actually these are not correct numbers, the real numbers are irrational but for our purpose they are precise enough. <clears throat> so let me show you how um, you, um, when you take this angle, how you come to a actual plant structure. So first we have to um, apply this angle multiple times and you have always have to increase the radius of your circle and you will see, I will show it to you now how this is done and you will see that we are coming to plant-like structures. Now if we um, put a certain object on every arrowhead then we come to a distribution like this. So this looks already somewhat like a sunflower head and if we do this for more elements it looks even more like a sunflower head and um, now I want to show you how I actually modeled the aeonium plant. So I started with a cone and then I used this golden angle distribution to um, yeah, place starting points on this cone like this. So these are now the starting points for my leaflets and um, I also put in some branches. So in the beginning they were pretty steep and <clears throat> later I made them more flat. So these would be the branches for the leaves and then I applied the leaves and first I started with small leaves pretty much upright and later they were larger and more flat. So that is actually all. It's not very difficult. This is then the model of the owner. So let me summarize this first part of the video. 
we have talked about the golden angle. So how is it defined? It is de defined by an equation where the ratio between two angles dividing the full circle angle is the same as the ratio of the larger of these two angles and the full circle angle itself. And I have shown you that when you use this angle, you can easily model this ionium plant you see in the background here. Um, in the second part, we will have a look at plant uh, structures in general. So I will give you a summary of plant structures which are um, composed using the golden angle. And in addition, I will talk about Fibonacci spirals you can also see in the background. So these are spirals you can observe when you look at golden angle based um, distributions. So one question I want to shortly address now is um, how plants achieve such a distribution. I mean, plants don't have the possibility to measure 137.5 degree or probably don't have such an opportunity. So how do they manage to reach such a, such a distribution? One theory, theory tells that each of these, um, of these positions here is emitting a certain factor, a certain hormone. And this hormone is put, pushing other um, starting points further apart, so to maximize the distance between these starting points. And it's this way this distribution is achieved, and which ends up the same as if you do a 137.5 degree rotational distribution. Um, it's only a theory so far, as at least as far as I know, because I... At, to my knowledge, the factor has not been identified yet, which is, would be responsible for such a behavior. Okay, next thing I want to show you, um, yeah, we want to give you an overview about um, how this distribution is um, yeah, working in the plant kingdom. So we start with a planner, a flat distribution, and um, everybody will recognize immediately that um, this uh, resembles yeah, sunflower flowers or flowers from other um, asteraceae. So this is a very uh, common theme in plant architecture. When you um, yeah, adapt them more to a cone, then you end up with structures like aeonium plants, which originate from such cones where the, the starting points of the leaves are distributed on such a cone. And you can um, make this cone even a bit more um, yeah, extreme, so steeper cones. And maybe this is resembling, let's say, Christmas flower, uh, Christmas trees or yeah, some um, trees, distribution of branches in trees. And if you um, yeah, push the um, elongate this distribution to its extreme, you end up with branches. So this might be a branch. And the dots might be um, positions of leaves or lateral branches on this branch. And if a plant is distributing its uh, leaves in such a way, um, then the space available to these uh, leaves is used in an optimal way. So this is then optimized space usage. Okay, next and last topic um, would be the spirals you can observe in these distributions, um, so-called Fibonacci spirals, and I will show you why they are called Fibonacci spirals. Um, they exist due to the fact that if you multiply the golden angle with certain numbers, in this case, for this example, I've taken the number eight, so number eight would be one example where this works. So if you multiply the golden angle with eight, you end up with numbers which are approximately 360 degrees. So you end up with 1,100 degrees in this case. And this is 3 multiplied by 360 degrees and plus 20, de 20 degrees. So if you look at this um, point labeled here in red and you look which where is the element 8 elements later, then it is directly above, almost directly. If you um, do this further, so the next um, 2 multiplied by 8 would be 2200 degrees, and this is 6 multiplied by 360 degrees plus 40 degrees. So um, the element here on this distribution is just as above as well, and you can now imagine where the further 
elements are just the next elements in these spirals. Um, 3 and 4 multiplied by 8 are here. So, and since this equation here is valid for every point here, there are ex exactly 8 of such spirals um, hidden in this figure. You can easily see them when I label them. And as I told you, there are several of such numbers which um, work this way. One further number would be 13. I will show to you soon. So this is the distribution or the spirals of number 8. And this would be the empty distribution. And here I have um, labeled the spirals with the number 13. And of course, these have to be 13 such spirals. The next number, which um, yeah, makes such spirals possible is 21. We have to uh, use a bit larger distribution to make this visible. So if you look at uh, spirals 21, you have now 21 such spirals around this um, distribution. So and why are they called Fibonacci spirals? Very easy. If you um, add 8 plus 13, this gives 21. And this is precisely the definition of the Fibonacci numbers, that two elements added together give the next element. So 1 plus 1 gives 2, and then 1 plus 2 gives 3, and 2 plus 3 gives 5, and so on. And these numbers um, always enable such spiral formation in golden angle-based distributions. So this is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, look out for more to come. I hope I will produce some more. Um, if you have some comments or some suggestions, I'll be happy if you write them down in the comment section. Thank you very much.